Nah, man, I'm just talking, I'm just trying to work on like the second half of my life. If you just break your life up in quarters, bro. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, from, from birth to maybe about like 18, you know, I feel like you in that first quarter of your life. I feel like really about, and I mean, you could take that 18 to like 20, 21. But I feel like 20 to 21 to like, I would say like 40, you're in the second quarter. Anytime after the second quarter is always what halftime. And halftime is when you make those adjustments. Halftime is when you be like, all right, I don't have, you know, it's, 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 it's halfway, halfway to the game over. And so I look at like 40, and now the quarters are not as long when you get to the end of the game. You know what I'm saying? Quarters ain't as long, you know? The first quarter was 20 years, right? That's 20 years from, from, from zero to 20. That's the first quarter. Second quarter, we said from 20 to, 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 to 40, all right? That's another 20 years. Now, huh, you talking about from 40 to 50. The average life expectancy nowadays is like 75. You know, with a lot of people, they hitting their 70s and they can't even walk. 70s, you on diabetes. Everything you did in the first three quarters is gonna show itself in the fourth quarter. So if you just think about your life, even financially, it's just everything, every area of your life. It's like, bro, you only got, you gotta break this thing down to four, four, four quarters. And I don't know why people be bad just sitting up playing around. You sit up, and I see this all the time. I see people try to take it serious in the fourth quarter, but you're so far behind the game. You done sat down, you played around, you, you, you didn't do what you were supposed to do the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, and then now all of a sudden the fourth quarter coming, you're like, man, I gotta get my, I gotta get my credit together. You're in the fourth quarter, you try to get your credit together. Well, you're supposed to be relaxing. You're supposed to already, matter of fact, you're supposed to be getting out the game and allowing your backup to get in the game. You, your children are supposed to be getting in the game right now. You're supposed to be showing them how to, how to dominate. Cause you've already put up 30, 40 points, 60 points. But a lot of people, man, they still in the game. They old as hell and they in the game. Talking about some, oh man, I'm trying, I'm trying. And I look back and I always say, man, I look at these younger people and I say, man, look, you ain't got to figure it out on your own. Just look at a lot of people that's out here. A lot of people that came before you. Just look at what they are going through. And it's like, man, they didn't take the first three quarters of their life serious. And I think the, you know, and I thank God that when I was in my first quarter, I was thinking about my second and third and fourth quarter. I was thinking about that I want to make the game, I want to come out on top. You know, I want to I want to be able I understand that you got the most energy in the first first half. That's when you're young. You got nothing but energy. You got the most wisdom though in the second half. So, how do I keep the energy of the first half but yet have the wisdom of the second half and that's where a lot of that come from educating yourself a lot of that come from going to conferences a lot of that come going to seminars reading books exposing yourself to other individuals that's got that wisdom so you got to do that and if you're listening to me and you're in the first half of your life go ahead and connect with other individuals that's got the wisdom and then they they're in the second half of the life they're in the second half of the game and then but if you're in the second half of the game Right, and you like, all right, I don't have, I got the wisdom, but I don't have the energy. Well, then maybe you need to go ahead and use that wisdom to connect with someone who's younger that got that energy and put something together. And along the way, coach, educate this person, help this person out, and let them use that energy they have to help get you in the doors that you are not physically capable of getting yourself into. So, yeah, man, it's um, it's deep when you look at it, especially, you know, like I said, right now, being where I'm at, I think I have. I've been at a halftime now for the last couple years. Now I'm I'm in I'm in the second half of the game right now. And I'm happy where I'm at. I'm satisfied where I'm at, but I still understand the game is still going on. There's still a lot left. And um you gotta just get it, man. You gotta get it. Why? Because you gotta remember that the game don't stop when you pass on, right? The game keep going. The game keep going. I realized that even though I'm coming into my first half or second half of the game, this game was played by my parents already. This game was already played by their parents. Everybody is playing the game of life. And what you do today, you don't have time to waste. What you do today determines on, you know, if you'll, you know, if you'll be successful. And it, it, it determines also what, at what point of the game your children will start at. 
And so I recognize that I'm not just playing this game for me. I'm playing it for those that are coming after me, man. My children, you know, family, man. And uh, man, you got to take it serious. And I'm, I'm, I'm relating this to a game, but it ain't funny. You know what I'm saying? It's real, bro. It's real. And one day, your game will be over. The game will continue. The game will contender, but your game will be over. You know, and it's just like, man, you know, in that same kind of way, you might not see the progress in your life every day, but it's progress taking place. It's progress, trust me, it's progress taking place. You're not gonna see it. Just like I didn't see Junior. I didn't see him grow. He was with me every single moment. You're not gonna see the progress instantly like that. But eventually, you'll see little telltale signs in your life that will show you that what you're doing is working. It's gonna show you that you're growing. It's gonna show you that your mentality is growing. It's gonna show you that you're growing spiritually, mentally, physically, you know, but you gotta keep going. It's a daily process, day by day. That's how you win the game. Every single day you get up and you understand, first off, that you're in the game. You gotta understand that you're in the game. And then you gotta say, what game am I playing? What game am I in? And then every single day you need to train for the game. You need to move the level every day. And you need to ask yourself, did I move the level? When you go back home at the end of the day, I don't care what you've done today. I don't care if you went to work. I don't care if you was off this day. I don't care if it's the weekend. How did you move the lever in your life? What did you do? How did you move the needle? Did the, need the needle always moving? Is it moving towards accomplishing something or is it moving the opposite way? So you gotta always move the needle in your life. That's how you get ahead. So, yeah, bro. This, uh, different when you really recognize it and see it man everybody out here they, they everybody's playing together everybody